Hi everyone, my name is Bob German, Cloud Developer Advocate for Microsoft, and welcome to this show and tell episode in which I have the esteemed privilege to meet with our friends from Decision Point who have put out a winning application from the Teams Application Challenge. I'll start by introducing Ravi Shankar, who is the CEO. How are you today? I'm fantastic, Bob. How about yourself? I'm great and can't wait to, to learn more about your application and everything that went into it. Absolutely. Uh, thank you, Bob, for this opportunity. Um, so let me quickly introduce myself and the team. Um, I'm Ravi, founder and CEO of Decision Point. Um, we are a uh, global analytics and AI company based out of New Delhi. And uh, we also happen to be a Microsoft Gold Partner for data and AI. With me on this call, I have uh, Abhishek, uh, who's our product lead on Beagle, the, the product that won the Microsoft uh, Global App Challenge. And we also have uh, Hitesh, uh, who's our uh, engineering lead, uh, who's, part of, uh, who's also part of this call. So um, could you tell us a little bit about the Beagle application? Uh, you know, what does it do and what kinds of customers and industries would use this app? Sure. Let, let me talk a little bit about the genesis of the uh, idea itself, and I think that's really interesting. Um, so as I mentioned, we are a, a, a firm that has been building analytics capabilities and solutions for a lot of Fortune 500 organizations across the world. And um, one of the fundamental challenges today uh, that organizations are facing is uh, how do they really drive data analytics adoption? Um, how do they get more and more people in their organizations to take data-driven decisions? Mm -hmm. And uh, this challenge is, is, is something that's getting harder by the day uh, because the, the business environment is becoming more and more dynamic, right? So, uh, and what is happening is the tools like dashboards, for example, they don't keep up with the changing needs and requirements uh, for of the end users who are supposed to use these tools and uh, they struggle with it and and there's a huge amount of cost that goes in into maintaining these dashboards keeping them up to date uh, uh, you know based on the business needs and especially in a uh, in this scenario where uh, uh, you know the pandemic happened and uh, you know and we saw that business priorities were sh shifting upside down uh, we saw that there was a couple of very interesting opportunities that opened up along with it we saw that the digital adoption of microsoft teams uh, took off and and uh, microsoft teams almost became became a, a de facto uh, operating system of the remote workforce and uh, what we saw a very interesting opportunity was that what if we take data analytics to uh, people through Microsoft Teams, uh, a platform which has got wide adoption within the enterprise. Uh, and, and if we make that uh, the place where people can access their insights uh, and, and data, that could basically become a fantastic, uh, uh, you know, uh, game changer, I would say, uh, in terms of driving data analytics adoption. Um, and, and obviously, it, it makes sense that, uh, apart, you know, it's also a very natural way of uh, engaging with the data through a conversational mode, which Teams enables uh, its users to. Uh, and obviously, that, that is the area where you're collaborating, uh, uh, you know, with your team. So it also enables you to drive decisions uh, through this data and insights far more faster uh, than, than what you would do through dashboards. Um, so that was the genesis of the idea, uh, and, and uh, we started building on it. Uh, and, and today, uh, I think uh, we have started working with a lot of our existing clients, uh, and we are seeing a lot of great traction uh, of the product uh, and its ability to drive uh, analytics adoption. Uh, we, it, it, the product is not industry specific. Uh, any industry that uses business intelligence solutions uh, can leverage this product. Um, and, and we are expanding it quite rapidly across industries. We have just started with uh, a few sales and marketing teams um, in, in some consumer goods companies, global consumer goods companies, and we are uh, aggressively expanding it to other functions and other industries as well as we speak. Well, that's great. It's a very exciting story. And, um, you know, I'm, I would love to see this. I mean, it's really, it's really a very different. I think we're all used to the dashboard kind of user interface. So making this conversational, bringing it to something new is, is, is very exciting. Yeah, I think Abhishek is the best person for that. Abhishek, over to you. 
Yeah, sure. Uh, let me share my screen, Bob, and then I'll show you how Beagle works. So uh, when a user interacts with Beagle on Microsoft Teams interface, it's like an instance for him, which we call virtual analyst. Once you like uh, choose a virtual analyst for you to interact, you can just like either say hi or type out your questions. So in this context, let's say we all are sitting in a meeting where we are reviewing our monthly business performance. So as a user, I'll just type in, show me my business performance. And Beagle would give me something pre-configured for business performance, which is by category, how are my sales doing in terms of revenue and value share. Now, depending on how the uh, uh, flow works, is like you can deep dive on your pain points. So for example, like we saw that the snacks performance was hit. So we can deep dive on a snacks by different category regions till a point where we find something actionable. So for example, for a snacks, if I do a deep dive, and this is all happening within Microsoft Teams itself. If we open that deep dive, we see that East Coast is where we are hurt most. So likewise, users can do n number of deep dives till the reach an action point. And all this can happen within Microsoft Teams itself. Now, if you want to uh, dwell a little further and look at like why you are losing share, you can choose another one that show me, show me levers of share gain loss. So Beagle will prompt you with like within snacks where you have been losing share. For the flow of conversation, we'll go and choose reason as East Coast and categories as snacks and uh, uh, let that card pop it. So where like actually it shows you the key levers of your performance drivers or draggers. Now this kind of analysis can be configured and uh, the filters are all configurable depending on uh, the, the client's needs. And uh, also how you can collaborate with your team is for a particular card, you can add to your narrative board. You can allow your team members to basically comment on that so that you don't uh, then walk into a chain of, uh, let's say, a chain of, let's say, to and fro emails where you basically like send the information and then something comes back to you. Everything can happen within Microsoft Teams interface itself. You work with your teammates to get some insights or you work on your own to figure out some insights and then send it over to your teammates using the narrative board. They can comment over there and you can basically find the insights and the action points within Teams itself. Well, that's really interesting. So it really kind of brings the collaboration aspect into what would be, you know, just a very data oriented uh, user experience. Exactly. Yeah. That's great. I mean, um, what process did you follow to build this? Was this something from the ground up or was there already, an, you know, uh, uh, a, an idea there? You were already in the BI business, I assume. Yeah, so uh, we had some inspirations using some of the projects which we had done earlier on a conversational analytics side. Uh, but what we really wanted to test out, especially with the uh, pandemic spread and the remote working coming in, that people are already hooked on to their favorite work apps, like, like especially Microsoft Teams having like 145 million daily active users. So we wanted to test out the idea that if we send data or insights through Microsoft Teams, will the users be open to consume it? We built a prototype and tested with it with some of our existing uh, customers. It worked out fantastically. And there on, uh, like we kept on developing it. And uh, the whole genesis from there onwards, it was like working with consumers and see how it basically fits into our product roadmap. So for example, like one thing, like when we showed it to users, the people wanted to give me a download option so that I can download the cards. So we went back asking them, why do you need to download the cards? They were like, I have to send it to my teammates over email. So I want a download option. So we told them, what if we give you an opportunity to send it, uh, that particular snippet card on Microsoft Teams itself? And that's how Narrative Board was born. And throughout this whole journey, Bob, I would say our partnership with uh, Microsoft India uh, partner technology team, it has also played a pivotal role in achieving the feat where Beagle is today. Well, that's that's a great story. I mean, was 
Uh, was there already an existing code base for this? And if so, how much of it were you able to reuse um, in moving over to a, a Teams application? Perhaps as a question for you, Hitesh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks, Bob. So yeah, we already had deployed something like a conversational analytics solutions for our clients. Uh, and uh, here the end consumer had different skill sets and you know how they want to consume the information. It was also very different. So we had the sort of uh, architecture already, how you're going to connect to all different sort of data sources and how the end user can you know, query the data and see what they want you to see. So we had all that configured out, and uh, when we said, okay, now let's just do it, let's do the SaaS, uh, you know, let's just create the product as a SaaS service now. Uh, so yeah, we had quite a bit of architecture already figured out. And were you able to reuse um, a lot of the code, or was there a lot of changes to get it into, into Teams? Well, yeah, so of course the changes were with the integration with Teams. So it was just an integration layer that we had to change. But uh, Teams itself gave us a lot of uh, other facilities, of course, the tabs, applications, and all, which, uh, like Abhishek told, uh, told us about mm -hmm. the narrative mode and all. So, right. yeah, that kind of grew uh, after we got, uh, you know, we understood like these are the features that we can actually uh, use to create something uh, new, you know, not just the initial idea that we had. So the idea, you know, keep, kept on growing after we understood, you know, what Teams platform is actually offering us. What was your biggest learning from that whole process? Yeah, so technically speaking, right? So it, we we saw the data across organizations, right? So even the global organizations, so they have all sorts of uh, data sources, some lying in uh, data lake, some lying in RDBMS, a lot of them lying in Excel as well, right? So giving them a uniform view of the data was very important for us. So that's what we created in the, uh, so we gave a very uniform view to all their data sources so they can create the same metrics using the same process across all their data sources and basically query it using you know a natural language in a natural language way so all the data across all the organization across all the departments was accessible to them directly right so this is what we uh, and this actually helped the organizations to utilize the data right so when we were building it, we saw, okay, you know, we have one data source, now we have two data sources, now we have three. So yeah, this was a great learning for us, you know, just to provide this uh, a uniform layer across all the data, and then how we can just, uh, you know, give the, distribute the data uh, to the end consumer using the Teams environment. That's great. Very, congratulations again. This is, a, this is a great step forward, I think. Um, any hints or ideas for what comes next? Yeah. Um, so, Bob, I think uh, what uh, obviously we are we are working very um, uh, closely with Microsoft and and, and uh, with our other partners to scale this product in a big way. Uh, and a uh, couple of things I would say are are, uh, are a high priority on our roadmap. One is I think uh, voice-based search. I think that's mm -hmm. something that's going to take off in a big way. And and we are working in building those features into our product. Uh, so that's that, especially through Microsoft Teams. So that's something we're collaborating with Microsoft, and we're figuring out how to bring that uh, quickly to uh, our users. Uh, the other big area we are focusing on is really enriching the insights uh, through some sort of domain intelligence layers. Uh, so as we expand this product to multiple functions and multiple industries. Um, so I think there is a need for us to leverage uh, AI and advanced analytics to not just bring data, but also the insights uh, to these uh, teams. And, and that's an area that we have started working on. And, and uh, we will start seeing more of that integration uh, happening in, in, the, in, the, in the next few releases uh, that we are going to make. That's great. Well, it's, it's really good. I checked out um, your uh, application on AppSource. If anyone's interested, we have um, aka.ms slash beagle for the number four teams. Um, to get to that app source entry, and any other thoughts on how people can uh, can utilize your application? What the process is? I think they can um, reach out to us through our website, um, BeagleAnalytics.ai, um, and uh, you know they can um, drop a note there, um, and and we will reach out to them fairly quickly. Great. Well, thank you all so much. I really appreciate it, and congratulations again on a job well done. Uh, it's a very exciting app, and I think it's a real game changer for the way people consume 
this kind of information. So thanks again. Thank you, Bob. Thank it's been a pleasure.